What's good, YouTube? Vikasa Kobe here. So, we are back. I had a few days off. It's good to be back for you guys here. So, on my few days off, country rap has turned itself into a little bit of a battleground. We have a thing going on with Mises and Upchurch right now. And this is, I believe, Church's first fire at Mises that he took some lyrical shots. And so that's what I've heard through the grapevine. And Mises dropped a diss track towards Ryan earlier today that we will be checking out after this song. So you guys know how I go into battles. I approach it with the relevancy of the bars, the impact of them, the humor inside of them. A lot of battles have a lot of humor inside of them. I feel like this one's probably going to be a bit more serious with the videos that have been made between these guys. Just the talking videos and pulling out Mises pulled out receipts and everything in his video of conversations he's had with people uh times he's hung out with Ryan and stuff like that so that's really where it sets right now I'm here for the lyrical battle I appreciate lyrical battles a whole lot so that's what we're here for, is to break down the lyrics of these songs and see who has the better bars inside of it. Someone finally <laughs> responded to church, right? We were wondering if that was going to happen eventually, and it has. So now, Up Church has been asking for someone to compete with, and we have Mises has stepped up to the plate. So we're not going to waste any more time on this one. We're here for the fucking bars. I say this in every video. If you're someone who's struggling with mental health or addiction problems, please go get professional help. Live your best life. Show people that they can pull themselves out of that as well. Encourage them to do the same thing after you have pulled your own self out and chase after your dreams show people what you're made of and prove that you can actually achieve something inside of your life whenever you're not dealing with those issues anymore right i always make it a point to say that on here because i truly care for addicts and people that are struggling with that th type of thing a whole lot it is something very deep to me because I have struggled with it in my life and it took me a long time to get sober off of alcohol and sober from drugs so that is something that I like to always make sure I say at the beginning of these videos as well aside from that we got a whole nine yards on busting the lyrics down we're here for a battle this is up church featuring Elton John. I'm guessing there's going to be some Elton John samples in this. This is a Red Rum remix. We're here for the fucking bars. Let's get it. I'm Vakasa Kabi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Church with Red Rum remix. Church and my neck of the woods. I'm Church. He's a 27 year old country rap artist from Nashville. You know, I like it when mm. music kind of overlaps and goes into different genres and crosses over. Been a man, even now. I remember that. I remember Church posting that. I remember whenever Elton John said that. That was really fucking cool of Elton John to do whenever he did that. Really dope of him to do. Shouting out up Church on the stylistic differences and how he appreciates that sort of thing. I remember when Elton John did that. Given music kind of overlaps and goes into different genres and crosses over. Been the man, even Nelton Jago second glance. Been the man, lost count of all of my acres land. Been the wow. man, 20 albums, still I'm on demand. Been the man, like my dick and balls was a clipping in one grand. Wow. <laughs> he said he's been the man and lost track of all his acres. He's been the man, 20 albums out. <sighs> Church is gonna go off in this one. We gotta bring it back. <laughs> been the man, even knelt and jog on second glance. Been even the man, lost count yeah. of all of my acres land. Been the man, 20 albums, still I'm on demand. Been the man, like my dick and balls was a clipping in one grand. Mr. Down South Monaco, killing me impossible. My catalog. Mr. Down South Monaco, feeling, dealing me impossible. <laughs> Church is wild, man. I'm still I'm on demand. Been the man like my dick and balls was a clipping in one grand. Mr. Dow South Monaco, killing me impossible. My catalog so big, my album turned into. 
said, killing the impossible. That's what he said. Man, he said, killing <laughs> the down south monocle, killing the impossible. He said. <laughs> down south monocle, killing me impossible. My catalog so big, my album turned into a chronicle. A artist with the my catalog so big, my album turned into a chronicle. <laughs> But Chronicle could also be a double for Chronic because Church likes to smoke as well. And he sings about those types of things. And a lot, especially a lot of his like rock and country songs, he'll make smoking type of songs and stuff like that. So you could take that as a double as well. Church always has layered lyrics like that. I like this. I like this so far. Church has the wordplay going on here. Man, been the man, 20 albums, still I'm on demand Been the man like my dick and balls was a clip and in one grand Mr. Dow South Monaco, killing me impossible My catalog so big my album turned into a chronicle A artist yeah. with the art, most art, now an article And if they spoke for they self, it coming out in autumn Whoa, 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 whoa <laughs> This is the thing about church, man This is the thing about church It'll go over your head if you don't take the time to pull it back for yourself sometimes, man. He's so quick. He's so quick. Those one-line bars that he comes up with that have so many rhyme pockets inside of one bar. That's my favorite thing about Church's flow style is that unorthodox kind of pocket he jumps into sometimes and the rhymes back-to-back -back like that because you'll miss it. If you don't pull that stuff back and give yourself a minute to analyze it, you'll miss some stuff. Down South Monaco, killing me impossible. My catalog so big, my album turned into a chronicle. An artist with the art, most art, now an article. And mm. An artist with the art, most... <sighs> Arced out article, is that what, did he say most arced out article, is that what he said? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Turned into a chronicle, an artist with the art, most art now an article, and if they smoke, but they self it coming out in out of Patriot preaching from log cabin homes, on some holla boy shit, some of us see. He said a Patriot preaching from log cabin homes on some holler boy shit. <sighs> Church is wild, man. Church is wild. Coming out in auto patriot preaching from log cabin homes on some holla boy shit. Some of us even nama show next day the red is like the ancestry Navajo. Baby Crockett pop up like a pistol part. Hold on, hold on. I told you guys, I don't want to miss any of these bars because I feel like some of this is probably going to be relevant to the next video we make. Coming out in auto patriot preaching from log cabin homes on some holla boy shit. Some of us. Navajo Alamo bar though. My word, hold up. Coming out in auto patriot preaching from log cabin homes. On some holla boy shit. Some of us even nama show. Next day the red is like the ancestry Navajo. Baby Crockett pop up like a pistol party at the Alamo. Wow. wow. <sighs> Davy Crockett. Even the Davy Crockett, he had three references there. Navajo, Davy Crockett, and the Alamo, all in one bar. That is crazy. Next day the red is like the ancestry Navajo. Davy Crockett pop up like a pistol party at the Alamo. A pen and, and pencil a sinister Alamo. danger zone. They kindred in the garden of rotten fruit in a wooden bowl. Sour whoa, whoa. They kindred in the garden? <laughs> Jesus Lord, man. <laughs> he steps it up with the wordplay. He steps it up every single song that we do by him. It's something else. I swear. Next day the red is like the ancestry Navajo. Baby Crockett pop up like a pistol party at the Alamo. A pen and pencil, a sinister danger zone. They kindred in the gun. Pen and pencil, a sinister danger, danger zone, he said. Mm. Hold on, bring it back. Let's bring it back. I'm over here knocking my shit over. Party at the Alamo, a pen and pencil, a sinister danger zone. They kindred in the garden of rotten fruit in a wooden bowl. Sour that the they kindred in the garden of rotten fruit. <laughs> Fuck those apples. <laughs> 
party at the Alamo A pen and pencil, a sinister danger zone They kindred in the garden of rotten fruit in a wooden bowl Soured at the curse, his verse in Edgar Allan Poe x written in cursive, king of underground Tell them all to swear did he say sour than a curse this verse by Edgar Allan Poe? Is that what he just said? I think I caught that right. He's got church got me pacing right now. <laughs> Next day the red is like the ancestry Navajo. Baby Crockett pop up like a pistol party at the Alamo. A pen and pencil, a sinister danger zone. They kindred in the garden of rotten fruit in a wooden bowl. Sour that the curse is verse in Edgar Allan Poe. Hex written in Man, Church's references are so on point. Let me tell you, like, you, like I said, a lot of people, it just like goes, it'll go over their heads and they'll say the church don't got bars or church can't spit or church can't rap. When you break this shit down, sometimes you feel like you need to pick up a college textbook. Like, and I Church said on, I think it was Instagram or something like that the other day that in his free time on tour and shit, he reads the dictionary, which is very similar to what many other rappers will do to expand their vocabulary, right? He was asked how he expands his vocabulary and stuff in his songs. He said he reads the dictionary whenever he's on tour, like in his downtime and shit like that. It's a very smart thing to do. There's a lot of really cool words out there that, like, they mean something that's a basic word, but it's just said more compendiously and complexly with certain words, right? They'll make a three-syllable word for saying something that's a one-syllable word. And when you use that, it makes the message and the rhyme capability of the pockets you can get into a lot more complex and fluent. And Church uses that. His vocabulary gets better every single time he releases i hear him using words and phrases that i never heard him say before and that's why i fuck with church next day the red is like the ancestry navajo baby crockett pop up like a pistol party at the alamo a pen and pencil a sinister danger zone they kindred in the garden of rotten fruit in a wooden bowl sour that the curse is verse in edgar Allan poe hex written in cursive king of underground tell them all to swerve a hoe Written in cursive king of the underground, tell them all to swerve a hoe. Wow. <sighs> swerve a hoe ties into Navajo, Alamo, salad, wooden bowl, salad bowl, salad bowl. <sighs> My word. There is so much. There are so many rhymes going on inside of here. Party at the Alamo, a pen and pencil, a sinister danger zone. They kindred in the garden of rotten fruit in a wooden bowl. Soured that the curse is verse in Edgar Allan Poe. Hex written in cursive, king of underground. Tell them all to swerve a hoe. Plummet in a pit of pendulums, bone piles of the people who ended up not commendable. I picked red rum to tell them that I'm not sorry. To the people, to the people who weren't commendable, I picked red rum to tell them. What's he gonna tell them here? Hold on, man. In a wooden bowl, sour that the curse is verse in Edgar Allan Poe. Hex written in cursive, king of underground. Tell them all to swerve a hoe. Plummet in a pit of pendulums, bone piles of the people who ended up not commendable. I picked red. Uh, he said in bone piles of the people who ended up not commendable. Wow. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Hold on. We gotta bring it back again. <laughs> Plummet in a pit of pendulums, bone piles of the people who ended up not commendable. I picked red rum to tell them that I'm not sorry, I can't remember, bro. I'll fuck you up so much you get pregnant, so call it belly. Yep. Ain't no coat. Oh my god. There, that was the shot at Mises right there. Wow. That was the shot right there telling them I don't remember them. That's, yeah. That's where a lot of the argument began. I mean, it goes much deeper than that. Once receipts and everything are pulled up, it opens up the door for a lot of conversations of, like, what goes on behind the scenes and shit. Like I said, I don't know none of these guys personally, so I'm not here to speak on that or say anything on that because I don't know these guys and I don't know what goes on behind the scenes with all of this shit. I'm here for the bars when it comes to these songs. And I'll tell you, 
who has the good bars, and I'll tell you whenever I think that something hits hard. You guys know that church is slamming the pedal on this one right here. It's still like... The thing about it is even when Church is slamming a pedal, he's still up in a, in his warm-up pocket. Like, I don't think we've even seen him go 100% on anything he's released yet. I don't think he's even let us see him fully go off ever. I really don't. Everything has been, like, fun and just natural inside of all the battles and everything Church has been in, which is many uh, he's gone many rounds on this battles he he can just keep going and release some more and more tracks right swerve a hoe plummet in a pit of pendulums bone piles of the people who ended up not commendable i picked red rum to tell them that i'm not sorry i can't remember bro i'll fuck yep. you up so much you get pregnant so call it belly this ain't up. no co i'll fuck you up so much you get pregnant so call it belly up that's Flip from face. Wow, church. <sighs> it's fucking wild. Ended up not commendable. I picked red rum to tell him that I'm not sorry. I can't remember bro. I'll fuck you up so much you get pregnant. So call it belly. This ain't no coat tail. Why you need a coat? Have mine is through. Go catch a charge for stealing winter weather. Rut tire. Say no. Oh my god. Coat tail riding. You need a coat. I'll give you one. Oh man. <laughs> because I know what he's saying. If you watch, if you watch Mises his music videos, um, <laughs> he's wearing a hoodie a lot of the time. He's got hoodies on a lot of the time, and well, even in any any videos, really, he's wearing a lot of hoodies. And that's what Church was just firing a shot at. We're f firing shots at the attire, like nothing's off limits whenever it comes to like throwing shots at somebody in a this battle, obviously. We've seen people go in on every aspect of each other. We've covered a couple battles on the channel, and we've seen people go in in every aspect on each other. So that was the shot there. Up so much you get pregnant, so call it belly. This ain't up. no coat tail, right? You need a coat. Have mine is through, go catch a charge for stealing winter weather. Rut tire. This ain't no coat tail, right? You need a coat. Have mine. I left a notepad in the pocket and a watch with no time. Oh my. You co signed by a co sign. Been on so many ways. They make the coastline. He said, You're co-signed by a co-sign. <laughs> he's probably talking to, he's probably talking about Mises and Adam being buddies with each other there. Cause whenever Adam was getting back into rap church, really put him on and they worked together a lot. That was a few years back, maybe like five, six years ago, something, maybe even longer. I think it was even maybe longer than that, right? It was a while ago that those two first came together and started working on stuff with each other. I think that is what Church is referencing with that one right there is that uh, Adam has helped Mises out and their buddies and come from the same area and stuff like that. I think that's what Church was referencing in that part right there. In the pocket and a watch for no time, oh my. Oh my. You co-signed by a co-sign. Been on so many ways, they make a walk the coastline. The hog on my wall, they just recovered from the capside. If you a better rapper, get roses for my rap. Had the juice. Oh, hell. <laughs> Oh, the hog's on the wall. He has a boar's head underneath of his fucking... <laughs> this picture. <laughs> the thing about Church is, like, he really does embody, like, an outlaw kind of energy. Like, a modern-day fucking outlaw kind of energy. Right? And that's just the attitude that even the pictures of him portray, like... You can tell that he's he just has a really wild side to his personality that definitely has a lot of fun and everything. I mean, if you could check out his videos of him, like, whipping through the hills with Can-Ams and the trails with fucking his toys and everything like that, that he likes to ride around in, he just, 
has a blast, man. Like, he really lives that way. He's just a wild one at heart. And, I mean, a lot of people aren't going to like that. A lot of people are going to take exception to a wild personality like that. It kind of comes with the territory of having that attitude in your life. But church is willing to bear the weight that comes with what people will say about you or what they might have to try to judge and critique you based on. He stands very well inside of just not caring what people try to tell him to do and he does his own thing and stays true to himself even whenever people might criticize it or take exception to it and you have to respect that you have to respect somebody that's willing to be their self in all moments and just fucking lay it out there on the tracks for people to hear i mean <laughs> he may not have got a response from tom and everything but he proved his point, putting those songs out, staying true to himself, and just doing what church wanted to do in the moment. He's really moved on from that at this point. He's throwing some subtle shots, saying the fucking hog is up on the wall and everything like that. And like I said, this picture with the upside down boar's head <laughs> underneath of his arm is hilarious. It's a typical church move. Anyways, they may go off the coastline I hog on my wall, they just recovered from the capside If you a better whap, I get roses for my whap Had the juice so long, now I'm sipping on some rap wine Juice so long, lesbians will walk a straight line Ju Juice so long, I be sipping on some rap wine He said it's fucking had time to age and become a fine wine <laughs> Sipping on rap wine, he says, that's fucking awesome Better wrap, I get roses for my wrap. Had the juice so long, now I'm sipping on some rap wine. Juice so long, lesbians will walk a straight line. Juice so long, Kool Aid man finna retire. Cause I'll be with the jammers, they want the key that we have. Nice. Stay. He said the Kool Aid man gonna retire. <laughs> you never know what to expect, whatever. It's a fucking church song. In a retire. Cause I'll be with the jammers, they want the key that we have. Nice. Stay yeah. mad that I can't elope. Group of thought, eat your brain like it's cantaloupe. Dear. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, the cantaloupe scheme. That is fucking funny, bro. That is a fun one. I like that. That's creative. I like that. That's a creative one. I'll be with the jammers, they want the key that we have. Nice. Stay mad that I can't elope. Group of thought, eat your brain like it's cantaloupe. Dear up, church, I make them all go write a note. Tell them replace the deer in the front of what they wrote with the antelope. They all over the. says they write me letters. Church says I got people writing me letters out here. Group of thought, eat your brain like it's cantaloupe. Dear up, church, I make them all go write a note. Tell them replace the deer in the front of what they wrote with the antelope. They all over the place, lying about the king throne. So many country singers that can't... Replace the deer in what you wrote with an antelope. That's what he just said. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's creative, man. What could you say? It's creative. I love whenever church gets into this kind of low style. Write a note, tell them replace the deer in the front of what they wrote with the antelope. They all over the place, lying about the king throne. So many country singers that can't play strings that sing songs. They're lying all over the place about the king's throne. So many country songs that can't even play strings or hold or keep a note is that what he said hold on i'm not gonna fuck it up we're gonna catch it right he's lying about the king throne so many country singers that can't play strings that sing songs never be pop mm, okay yeah <sighs> he hit him with a you <laughs> fucking you <laughs> that's fucking funny right there classic right there 
flying about the king throne So many country singers that can't play strings I sing though Never be popping enough to be a ringtone And you'll always cherish this audio as a milestone to me itself You'll, <laughs> you'll never be popping enough to be a ringtone That's what he just said <laughs> I love that he's hitting him with the you That's uh, I was like, fucking God, Lord. I think I was like 12 years old when that song came out. That is so far ago. Classic, though. You could never go anywhere without somebody busting that dance down whenever it first came out. Everybody was on that shit. He's lying about the king throne. So many country singers that can't play strings that sing tone. Never be popping enough to be a ringtone. And you'll always cherish this audio as a milestone to me itself. Dip. You'll always cherish this audio as a milestone. Oh my god, he's saying. Oh my goodness. He's saying, when I diss you, that's a career milestone because I actually gave you attention. Wow. <clears throat> hey. That's what battles do, man. It's good for both sides at the end of the day. I mean, if you can bear the weight of all the shit that gets talked inside of a battle environment, then by all means, it will get people talking. It gets publicity going to both sides. Both people will garner more from it at the end of the day. They'll gain respect for stepping up to the mic and actually going out and trying to hold their own inside of the battle and at the end of the day it gives them a chance to also improve their own penmanship by competing with somebody else and that's the way i see battles inside of hip-hop right i mean this has a sort of personal aspect to it but like i said i'm not here to discuss all of that He's lying about the king throne So many country singers that can't play strings that sing tone Never be popping enough to be a ringtone And you'll always cherish this audio as a milestone To me itself get my big heart giving a small loan Rockstar millionaire smelling like hair back alone Bingo <coughs> Did he just say it's like to him it's like giving out a loan? Is that what he just said? Get my big heart given a small loan Rockstar wow. millionaire smelling like camp back alone Been camp going hard alone. since before I put a condom on That's why in Nashville all the stars shine Come from rhinestone Rhinestone <laughs> Shit <laughs> He saved it for the last bar He saved that Shit <laughs> That's funny right there that's funny as hell. We got to bring that back. Hold on. I got to bring it back a little bit more. I want to make sure I catch that whole thing. Get my big heart given a small loan. Rockstar millionaire smelling like camp back alone. Been going hard since before I put a condom on. That's why. Been going hard since before I put a condom on. That's why. Nashville, all the stars shine come from rhinestone. rhinestone. That's why all the stars. That's in Nashville. That's why all the stars shine come from rhinestone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Church is too much sometimes, man. He's funny. Church has funny bars. He's a really witty artist whenever it comes to, like, the comedy aspect of, especially a, a battle environment. He's very funny and witty. Been going hard since before I put a condom on. That's why in Nashville all the stars shine come from rhinestone. Rhinestone. Mother. Mother. Fuck. Fuck. Uh. 615 If you're gonna play in Texas, you gotta have a fiddle in a band. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Bro. <laughs> he said if you're gonna play in Texas, you gotta have a fiddle in a band. <laughs> Shout out Kalani, man. Shout out Kalani and T2, right? Those are the boys the church has been working with over the last year. Kalani on production and T2 is one of the artists that has gone on tour with church and done some features with them on the Blue Jeans albums. Shout out Texas, right? I appreciate this one. This is a fun one right here. Playful, but valid shots taken. He didn't drop any name in it, but we all know. We all know. That's why. He didn't have to. 
They were already arguing with each other in videos. So we know, we all know, right? It didn't have to, no names had to be stated for this one to be obvious what Ryan is talking about in it. Because like I said, the arguments have been going on online for a little bit now, like a couple months actually is when all of this kind of started. It started around the Tom disses and things have kind of just escalated and gone their own directions from there. Like I said, I took a few days off and arrived back to a battlefield, so now we gotta check out what Mises did with his track that he dropped today. That will be the next video that we do, so I appreciate you guys tuning in, Creek Squad. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Solid bars from Church as always. I always enjoy listening to Church's music. He's given me a lot of wonderful memories and pulled me out of a lot of dark places with many of his songs they mean a lot to me his songs a lot of his songs really mean a lot to me and have pulled me out of dark places so i always love getting on here checking out some church for you guys i appreciate you guys tuning in i tried to catch as much of this for you as possible i hope i didn't miss too much of it for you guys i think we got pretty much everything covered that we needed to so original video for this will be in the description as always subscribe to church support the artists we have on the channel especially the independent ones they work their asses off doing all of this music stuff themselves without all the big industry and label backing it's a lot more work that way but you get raw content that is pure and has truth inside of it and has a raw story whenever it comes to artists being independent and not controlled by the industry that likes to mold people and that's why i love covering the independent artists on here so much thank you guys for tuning in like i said i hope you enjoyed this get help if you need it for addiction and mental health live your best life we're gonna get out of here um, because of coffee, a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. <laughs> Leave a like for me, comment those suggestions, subscribe up this way. Bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.